Apple is about to surprise everyone in a way that feels almost on Apple. No flashy stage, no dramatic event music, and no hour-long keynote this time. On November 12th, Apple is reportedly planning something completely different, a silent product drop. Just a quiet store refresh, a single press release, and boom, new devices appear. Among them, two stars are grabbing everyone's attention, a brand new Apple TV 4K and an upgraded HomePod Mini 2. It's the kind of stealth launch that can easily slip under the radar, but for those following closely, it could mark the beginning of Apple's biggest push into the smart home and living room experience in years. Now, why does this matter? Because Apple rarely does this. Usually, new Apple hardware means a full keynote, a long build-up, teasers, trailers, and global hype. But this time, they're going quiet, which actually says a lot. It means Apple thinks these updates speak for themselves. They don't need two hours on stage to explain why these new devices are worth your attention. And that's exactly what makes this launch so interesting. According to multiple reports, including one from trusted insider Mark Gurman, Apple's planning a no-event release. Their online store will temporarily go down, the infamous be right back message will pop up, and when it returns, the new products will simply be there. No countdown, no live stream, just instant availability. You see them, you click order, and a few days later, they arrive at your doorstep. It's quick, efficient, and fits perfectly into Apple's confidence-driven approach. They know these are straightforward upgrades that consumers will immediately understand. So, what's actually coming? Two major updates, the Apple TV 4K, 2025 edition, and the HomePod Mini 2. On paper, they might seem like minor refreshes, but once you dig deeper, it becomes clear that Apple is quietly setting up its next big leap, not just in entertainment, but in gaming and smart home technology. Let's start with the headliner, the new Apple TV 4K. This is the product that could truly change how your living room feels, looks, and performs. At first, you might be asking, do we really need another Apple TV? After all, the 2022 model was already sleek, fast, and great for streaming. But the truth is, that version was designed for a pre-Apple arcade era, before the company started pushing console-grade gaming experiences onto iPhones and iPads. Back then, the Apple TV 4K was a great streaming box. Today, Apple wants it to be more, much more. And that's where things start to get really exciting. A serious power upgrade. Reports suggest that this new Apple TV will be powered by Apple's A17 Pro chip, the same family of processors found in the iPhone 15 Pro. Now, that's a serious piece of silicon. It's not just about faster loading times or smoother menus. This chip brings hardware accelerated ray tracing, something you typically associate with gaming consoles or high-end PCs. That means more realistic lighting, natural reflections, lifelike shadows, and an overall visual depth that was never possible on a streaming box before. Just imagine it, the same advanced rendering technology that powers some of the best mobile games and AAA console ports on the iPhone now making its way to your TV. The result? A streaming device that doesn't just play content, it transforms it. Menus feel instant. Apps open in a blink. Games start up and feel like real console experiences. The Apple TV is finally stepping into a new category, the living room console for everyone. And it's not just about raw performance. There's also a big leap in memory. Rumors suggest that this model will pack 8GB of RAM, doubling the 4GB found in previous versions. If you're not a specs person, here's what that means in real life, games and apps can load more textures and data simultaneously. You'll notice smoother visuals, fewer loading hitches, and richer environments. Developers won't have to cut corners or simplify assets. They can finally build immersive titles that fully utilize the Apple TV's power. For Apple Arcade and beyond, this is a game-changer. Many users have enjoyed Apple Arcade but felt that it wasn't quite a console replacement. This new Apple TV might just close that gap. If Apple manages to bring its recent AAA ports, like Resident Evil Village or Death Stranding, to the big screen with this hardware, we could be witnessing the quiet start of a living room gaming revelate. Eye on. The secret weapon, Apple's N1 wireless chip. But the biggest upgrade might not even be the chip or the RAM. It could be something most people won't even see, the new N1 wireless chip. 
Apple has reportedly designed this chip in-house to handle Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections. Instead of relying on third-party wireless modules, Apple is now taking control of the entire experience. Why does this matter? Because better wireless means better everything. The Apple TV acts as the core of your connected ecosystem, streaming, gaming, smart home control, and airplay. With the N1 chip, we're talking about Wi-Fi 6E or even Wi-Fi 7 support, depending on the final configuration. That means cleaner, faster, and more stable connections even in crowded homes full of smart bulbs, cameras, and multiple devices competing for bandwidth. Picture this, you hit play on a 4K Dolby Vision movie, and it just plays. No buffering, no stutters, no bitrate drops, just a flawless stream, even in an apartment complex where every neighbor's Wi-Fi overlaps with yours. Or imagine pairing your controller and AirPods, airplaying from your iPhone, switching users, and answering a FaceTime call, all happening smoothly and instantly, with no lag or dropouts. That's what this new wireless system brings to the table. It's the invisible upgrade that makes everything feel effortless. For gamers, this could also mean less Bluetooth latency with controllers, better synchronization with AirPods for spatial audio, and faster responses across the system. And for those deep in Apple's ecosystem using HomeKit or Matter accessories, the Apple TV acts as a hub. A better hub means faster, more reliable smart home automation. Lights, locks, sensors, everything just reacts quicker. This kind of reliability is something that only becomes noticeable when you experience it. You go from occasional delays or pairing issues to seamless control every time. That's Apple's vision here, technology that disappears into the background and simply works. Familiar design, fresh power inside. In terms of design, don't expect dramatic changes. The box will likely look almost identical, small, black, minimalist. But honestly, that's fine. The current design already fits perfectly in any setup. It runs cool, it's quiet, and it's nearly invisible once you place it near your TV. The real transformation is inside, not outside. The Siri remote probably won't see major redesigns either. Apple already switched to USB-C charging and fine-tuned its tactile feedback. The focus now isn't on looks, it's on performance and ecosystem integration. And that brings us to pricing. Apple isn't known for racing competitors like Roku or Amazon Fire TV on price. However, it's interesting that in recent years, Apple actually lowered the cost of the Apple TV. That was rare. This time, with all these new internals, the price might rise slightly, but Apple will justify it by positioning this as more than just a streamer. It's the ultimate living room hub, a device that combines high-end streaming, gaming, and smart home control all in one. For buyers, the decision becomes simple. Do you want a budget box that gets the job done but might struggle in a year or two? Or do you want a premium, future-proof device that will stay fast and relevant for the next five years or more? For many Apple users, especially those already invested in the ecosystem, the choice is obvious. Who should upgrade? If you're using an Apple TV model from before 2022, the difference will be night and day. You'll feel it immediately faster performance, quicker app launches, and smoother navigation. Even the remote responsiveness improves thanks to better wireless handling. If you own the 2022 model, the decision depends on your usage. If you're into gaming, heavy streaming, or want flawless airplay performance in a Wi-Fi heavy environment, this is worth considering right away. If you mostly watch Netflix or YouTube, your current box will still serve you well. But for tech enthusiasts and gamers, this new model could be the Apple TV you've been waiting for. And let's not overlook one underrated benefit, privacy. Smart TVs today are loaded with ads, tracking, and sluggish interfaces. The Apple TV stands apart by offering a clean, ad-free, and private user experience. Everything runs smoothly, your data stays secure, and your living room feels premium again. No pop-up ads, no random autoplay, just the content you chose. O's. Shifting to the HomePod Mini 2. Now that we've covered the Apple TV, let's turn to the second product, the new HomePod Mini. This one might look small, but it plays a big role in Apple's smart home vision. The original HomePod Mini debuted in 2020, and while it's been a reliable performer, it's definitely due for an upgrade. The new model, expected to arrive alongside the Apple TV, is rumored to feature a faster S10 chip. 
This chip will make Siri more responsive, reduce those awkward pauses between commands, and handle multiple tasks at once far more smoothly. Imagine asking Siri to play music while someone else adds a reminder or activates a smart home scene all without the system freezing or lagging. This is exactly where Apple is focusing speed, stability, and smooth multitasking. One of the biggest complaints about smart speakers in general is inconsistency. Sometimes they respond instantly, other times they hang for a few seconds. Apple wants to eliminate that feeling entirely. And yes, this new HomePod Mini will also include the same N1 wireless chip we discussed earlier. That's a massive improvement for such a small device. It means cleaner stereo pairing, better Bluetooth reliability, and faster smart home communication. If you use two HomePods as a stereo pair, say, on your desk or connected to your TV, you'll immediately notice fewer dropouts and perfect audio sync. The N1 chip also enhances matter and thread connectivity. This means your smart home devices, lights, locks, thermostats, sensors, respond faster and more reliably. That frustrating lag when you say, hey Siri, turn off the lights and have to wait three seconds? Gone. Everything becomes instant. Soundwise, the new HomePod Mini isn't expected to reinvent the wheel. The compact form factor limits what Apple can do with bass or loudness, but what you can expect is smarter audio tuning. Cleaner highs, better voice clarity, and reduced distortion at high volumes. Apple's focus here is making the everyday experience better, faster voice recognition, more natural sound, and greater consistency. Think